Well, hello everyone, here I'm with my first LEGO Wicked set review. And it's now, as a little disclaimer is, as you know, that these sets, which, uh, which are kind of mini doll sets rather than mini fig sets, and I know probably don't expect very many mini doll set reviews on this channel. But however, or I did do some with the LEGO Movie 2 line back in like 2019, so. And of course, playlist of that I have up there. So, but also for Wicked in particular is actually one that kind of works for both uh, boys and girls, of which, or more specifically with boys too. Which there are very few other male YouTubers that did review some of these. So, so and besides, and that's kind of how it goes sometimes. So, just in course, if you don't, and of course, don't like, don't watch. But if do feel like watching? Enjoy. Okay, and also, kind of the same logic with the previous theme, Elves. But yeah. So on the front of, and so this, and now starting off with Glinda and Elfida and Nessa Rose at Shiz Uni that has now been released, or recently released. And so on the front of the box here, we have the Lego Wicked logos and in film versions of Glinda and Elfa, and the neat, kind of nice border of that. And then, picture of the set that there is, and models do not float, and recommended ages is seven and up. Set number 75681, it has 304 pieces. And then, same trend on all the boxes is this little pick there. And on the back side of it, here you have you know, kind of another view of the set and also one feature of it and also scan the QR code inside and also logos again and there. And now onto the manual, of which odd rendering that there is or that they've been doing for a while now. The transition from plastic bags to banker bags and the builder app. And then back side of which is all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And an in-film picture, or an in-film picture of Shiz Yoon. And uh, which, like we saw with the Avatar theme, and also a couple of Star Wars sets, of course. And then advertisement of all the sets of the theme, which I am also reviewing. And then the last building steps. Now, onto the three mini dolls included with this set here. First of which is Glinda, which is the North, played by Ariana Grande in the film. Which, as you see, the torso print and skirt printing all quite good for how it is, and also the uh, foot feet parts of which kind of dual molded with skin color and lavender, and also a slight bit of some printing around it, of course. And of course the arms that are dual molded in lavender and skin color, nice to see there, and face printing done quite good for how it is, like kind of well captures Ariana Grande a bit, and also the hair piece of which, of which quite good and well suiting to her, and also bow piece on top as well, but yeah. Next to which is this version of Elphifa, or Elphida, right, of course. Like, obviously, has the mini doll headpiece in green, kind of unique color for that. And, and, and also, so quite good torso printing, and not at all need skirt printing, but quite good uh, foot uh, foot printing like we saw on Anna in the Frozen ones, and also quite good uh, hair piece which, like we saw in like the Eternals Marvel theme. I mean, but nice to see there. And then, lastly of which, and of course both of which holding the newer style book covers, it's both in pink and in gr and in brown. And of course both of which stickered on them, of course. 
and of course representing a bit of, and of course Glinda's most likely being a diary or whatever. Oh, whoops. And then lastly is Nessa Rose. A witch with some quite good, uh, good hair piece of witch, like we probably saw in Friends and other themes, and also the torso printing, quite good for how it is, and quite good face printing, and also the briefcase of witch in the hands, of course, and then as for the like, like bottom foot printing, like for shoe printing, also quite interesting and quite nice how it is. And of course, resting in wheel in the wheelchair, which like we see seen in most uh, other themes. So, and then the back side of which is that not uh, any uh, back torso print. Oh wait, Glinda's does have a bit of back torso printing, or a bolt of which do. So they all do have back torso printings, which all look quite good for how they are. And then also the back part of Nessa Rose is a wheelchair, which does have a sticker on it, which not to why, but whatever. And I guess that is about it with the mini dolls of which and now first build of which is this little boat here, which obviously just a regular standard one of the uh, common boat pieces, but now in this uh, pinkish coral color, or in this coral color, nice to see there, and also great to use for mocking. And also, kind of on the center part, or on most of it, is a lot of room to stand a mini doll or two into it, like so. And then backside, which are these little crates, which that do have all, and plus. All of these uh, tile pieces on top are all printed, not stickers. Nice to see. And also, do you have one, two little jumpers for them to be on? And then this one of which can open up, and actually, two of which you have these little aqua flower pieces in them. And then, as for these uh, little sail parts, we have a few Technic bits to it, and also these newer Technic bits to it and then the sails themselves so which made of these film flaps of which like we kind of saw on the banshees in the recent avatar theme and of course one of which with the g for glinda of course i'm uh, not sure if you can tell on hand but they're kind of reflective a bit and this with some kind of nice patterns to it and i guess that's about it with the boat here and then for the little part of Shiz Yudi, which obviously kind of a facade like some of which smaller sets tend to be like. And also kind of like some uh, recent Disney sets, in particular the Wyatt the Last Dragon sets of it. And plenty of stuff going on there. But like, so now starting out with this front part of it. And also to note is that there are not at all any stickers in this set of which there's all printed, which is nice to see there. Like this front part of it, which has, has some like curved, uh, or curved uh, wedge plates around, both in this white and then a few that are in blue around to represent the water around. And of course a newer style flower piece on there, nice to see there. and. A little standing kind of area, and then also these nice little plant like builds with the cups, leaves of two different kinds, and flower pieces in pink, which is kind of nice. Then, and then as for this one side of which, do have these uh, large plate like pieces that have these interesting textures on them, which which are definitely can be useful with some mocks if you want to. And then above of which are these flower, these little leaf-like pieces in red, which you can definitely use for some fall time mock city mocks if you wanted. And then the, some more of those newer flower pieces in coral color. And then for this gateway part of which, is you have these little pieces in this softish yellow color, and then a couple of turquoise-like pieces on top, 
kind of nice then. And then one bit of asymmetry on here is with this little leaf piece in darkish red, kind of nice there, and a leaf piece in coral, also quite nice. Nice for that, and then, and then on top of which are these little standing areas. We have like little telescope pieces and some like corner plates on there, and then this a little a uh, little standing fence-like area kind of piece which you probably see in some like a uh, castle and Disney themes for that. And then on top of which are the have these nice little textures of it with these reverse stud holders to make the whole thing look for that. And also a few cones and studs just to give it this like nice little texture of it, which is quite nice for that. And then on top of which are these few curved corner slopes all held together by a 2x4 plate to make it make this have sort of a, a curvish uh, look to it, oh, which is pretty nice, for how, quite good for how it is. And then to the back side of it, this is this. There's kind of barely much going on for that. Like the rest of which, barely much for that. Just a little shelf and a couple of torches there. And also have this little standing kind of area, or a little book stand to stand one of those book covers that the mini doll's holding for that right onto there. It was kind of like we saw in some Harry Potter sets. And then have this opening part with the S like symbol. Also with the S like symbol for Shiz Uni. And again, a couple of torches made of simple flames and telescope pieces. And then to then this little shelf like here with like most likely holding different potions or perfumes and all. But you can like take that out and it's resting on a single jumper or point to there. And then turn around the which and then a sticker part which holds a QR code on it. And, uh, which kind of like we had with some of the recent Despicable Me 4 sets for that. But, but where, whereas if you get this set in hand, then scan for yourself, of course. And then lastly, which a uh, big mystery part of it is these a uh, little uh, corner, kind of these little uh, hinge plates, which which are most likely for clips to attach to it, but don't attach, but in this set's case, don't attach to anything. So could mean that there might be a large Shiz University set that you can plop, it, uh, plop and attach it onto that in the future. Well, let's see how that goes. Well, let's see how that goes. And then also kind of ends up with a couple of jagged slopes around it. And for that, and of course, curved slopes as well. But yeah. Okay, let's see. And now, on to the final verdict. Overall, I think this is a quite good set for how it is. Like, you get three unique mini dolls, and also a, a good cheap way to get both Glinda and Elphaba, and Elphaba, even though variants of them do come in other sets of which, but at least kind of a good cheap way to get both of them. But this whole set also works out as a good parts pack like, of, like, things in various color, like some unique color pieces, like the leaves and such. And of course, as for those like uh, hinge bricks on the back side of it, still quite mysterious. But you know, but of course, let's see how that goes. But and for this set particular, which again quite good for how it is like, for, like all of this for around three dollars, of which although kind of feels like some uh, Disney sets that there are, or like there was maybe this could work out like. One of the smallest ones from the uh, Why the Last Dragon one, so which, but whatever. 
of and of course but like for the size of which also quite good for the price point and maybe some of that's kind of taken up by the sails and the boat for that but as is which still quite good for how it is but yeah that maybe an extra mini doll that of like some random shiz uni a kind of mini student could which would have been nice but whatever or although would have added a little extra to it but yeah and then uh what else not much but yeah and also good that there's not at all any stickers in this set to which right and uh, i think that was about it but like 300 pieces for around three dollars barely see that very much even though for some sets at the three dollar range of which come in at around like over 200 uh, or which but however in this set's case that's kind of good for how it is well even though this for a movie a new uh kind of movie you know kind of feels like taking a chance with it but yeah and that is about it so now if you're looking to start your wicked set collection then definitely pick it up and if you're a fan of oz and all then definitely pick it up and that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.